Oh my oh, oh, oh my god, yet another fucking problem. Always a problem, dude. Always a problem. And what's beautiful about this problem is it happened at like the exact right moment. As all problems do. <sighs> so. Oh, God. So, all right. Here's what happened. Here's what happened. <clears throat> I had delusions of grandeur. Again. My own fault. My own fault for thinking that. Because you got to understand. Like, you used to piss and complain, oh, why didn't you go to college when you were, you know, whatever? Why didn't you do this when you were 15? And why didn't you do this? And Because you have to understand, the universe does not work that way for me. It, it just... The universe says to me, if you try anything, you will be shut down immediately. I mean, I hadn't even come out of the womb yet, and I already had spina bifida. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not using that as an excuse. It's a fact. And any time that I've ever tried to, you know, better myself or do something positive or do something constructive other than just try to survive, and even that's questionable, it, the universe shuts me down. Okay, God, whatever, shuts me the fuck down. You know, try to do YouTube stuff, nobody gives a fuck. It, you know, and I don't mean this. This is just like last resort where I'm mainly just using YouTube now for like storage for like audio clips and shit. Because I don't give a fuck. Um, <laughs> you know, instead of actually trying to do that, because it just, it, it won't work. It won't work. I don't, it's not that I have a defeatist attitude or any of that bullshit. It's just when I try to better myself in any way, like I said, the universe says no and shuts that shit down. So, again, I had delusions of grandeur. Like, I, I actually wanted to start a new YouTube channel. I wanted to try to, you know, upload daily, do, you know, stuff. And I was like, you know what? I want to get back into Halo. I want to get back into Halo. I can't stand the Xbox One, the OG One, the, the original version. I can't stand that system. Let me get the X. Let me save up for the X. The X was on, it was 100 bucks cheaper. It was like 400 bucks. And I was like, you know what? I'll save up for it. In February, you know, it's a short month, so the, the budget, you know, it'll it'll wreck the budget, but, eh, if I can get through February, all's good. Oh, God. Anyways. Again, delusions of grandeur. So, all that in mind. I said, if I, you know, it's 400 bucks, if I can get through February... You know, everything will be reset, it'll be, it'll be good. We'll move forward from there. Okay. And I didn't get through February. This is only the 9th. This is only the fucking 9th. This is only the fucking 9th. And where, where the problem, where the, the, the alignment of the universe is like, oh yeah, remember that, that you, that you had well laid plan, if you're well laid ass, fuck you, right? <sighs> so, this new fucking game, Anthem comes out. And a friend that I have on the PS4, he didn't like it. He said, I ain't gonna buy it. I didn't like it. The demo. I didn't like the demo. I liked what I played, but they stripped a lot of stuff out. So as they're showing trailers for the, the stuff that they stripped out, it's like, okay, I like that now. I like what you're doing now. Because it was basically just, oh, here's a little gameplay. This is kind of what it's like. And, you know, all the bells and whistles are, 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 are out. We cut that out. So I was like, you know what, fuck it, I just got an Xbox One. Let me buy Anthem on that, because I've been looking forward to this game. And everything was fine. Everything was fine. Up until last night. I, was, I, I, I said to myself, you know what, I'll pre-order 
I had plenty of money. I even had enough money for Xbox Live. Which is like 10 bucks. The game. So it would be like 75 bucks between the game and Xbox Live for the month. And I was like, you know what? I'm also playing um, the original Red Dead Redemption online. Or, you know, playing the game. And I was like, you know what? I can even play that online too. So let me, uh, let me do all that. Oh, my God. So, I go into the Xbox One store. I find Anthem. It says, do you want to pay for it? Now, I don't know what the problem is, because they have... I don't, I don't know what it's called in Xbox, but like in, in the PS4, it's called, like, the wallet or whatever. Where you... Like, if you have a, a card, you put the, the money in there, and it's like, you have an account with them. Oh, that'd be nice if it got interest, but whatever. <clears throat> well, in my account, supposedly, it's like $3. Actually, it's like two ninety five. Like, I, I had a $10 thing, and I bought, you know, whatever. And it was like $3 left. So I was like, all right, well, let me use that $3 up on this Anthem game. And, you know, pay the rest with my uh, debit card. Now, keep in mind, I have exactly $91. And I need 65 for the game, because it's upstate New York, 9% sales tax. The games are like 60, uh, was it 64 95 99 somewhere in there, whatever. And then I need $10 for Xbox Live Gold. So 75 to 91 You do the math. 5 is 80 90 So I got about, what, 16 bucks left? Fine. Fine. <clears throat> Fine. I got nothing going on. All the bills are paid. I got 16 bucks to my name left. That's not even the issue. It's not even a bank issue. For once. If I had, I, that, oh, I had that back in October. That's already come and gone. That little wave of bullshit is already come and gone. It's been here, done that, and left. Ransacked my asshole and left. Okay. I had plenty of money. So I go on, I get it, I start downloading it. Everything's fine. No problem. Not a problem. In the middle of the download, and it's going really good. Download's coming real fast, real fast. I was like, well, let me let me get Xbox Live too. Might as well, because I like I said, I can play the one game. Because the Anthem is coming out on the 22nd, which I hate when they're super late in the month, but whatever. And this is the ninth. We'll, we'll, we'll pre-order it. Big deal. Oh, sweet Jesus. Um, so as I was downloading this game, like I said, I said, let's go get Xbox Live. So I go into Xbox Live, and it says, how do you want to pay for it? And then it gives me the options, and I still see the $3 that I told them to use for the other thing it's okay whatever i don't get why that's not working don't care whatever anyways 9.99 fine fine 9.99 that's what i expected click it download you know engage <clears throat> and all of a sudden i see the little spinner of like loading and it's loading and loading and loading and loading Honestly, got a good, I'd say a minute and a half, two minutes even, loading, 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 spin, 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 loading, loading. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm trying to, I'm pushing buttons and ain't doing anything. It's it's stuck, I'm trying to infinitely load. Now, I don't know what the problem is, because, ironically, the week before the Xbox One had had a little bit of a bug, a little bit of an issue. And apparently it's been fixed. I don't know. I'm thinking, is this part of the problem? Because it was similar, you know, it was basically an update problem or something. I don't know what it was. And I'm like, okay, is this part of the problem? What's the problem? I don't know. Just whatever. All of a sudden it's like, please check connection, which they always say that. You know, 
find your router and unplug it for 30 seconds and plug it back in. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? So I try it again. Spin, 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 spin. I'm like, wow, the fucker. So now, because you gotta, you gotta understand, I'm in the chair, I got the legs up, the dog's between my knees, down between my thighs. He's laying there in a little tiny little ball, he's asleep, and I'm like, I don't want to get up, motherfucker. Luckily, I had to pee after a few minutes, so I was like, alright, fine, we'll get up. So I get up, let him out. Of course, he can't just go out there and pee and come right back in. Oh, no, no, no. It's a blizzard, he wants to run outside down the stairs and play in the snow. So anyway, I'm out there for literally probably five minutes waiting for him to fuck around. And I come back in, because my uh, internet stuff is out in the living room. And I've got a cord going from the living room all the way into the bedroom, which is literally on the other side of the wall, but whatever. Now, what I did as I came in, I unplugged that, because I didn't know where that problem was, waited a few seconds, plugged that back in, came in, went over to where, because now, because I had a little fiasco not that long ago, and I had to bring in the, uh, well, actually when I collapsed that shelf, I talked about that clip not too long ago, when I collapsed that one shelf, because I was moving it, and it was too heavy, and the whole midsection just like folded and shit, and it was that corkboard fucking press press bullshit wood all over the place all my games like hundreds of thousands of games just came toppling down on top of me and shit it was just horrible and as a result of that I had to bring in I had to reroute the router basically because I used to have the, the phone and the router was out in the living room with the rest of the stuff and I just had a cord that would come in no actually shit I didn't have it corded I didn't have it corded. I I was using the Wi-Fi for all my systems through, you know. Yeah, that's what it was. And I got tired of the Wi-Fi because the Wi-Fi was, was shitting the bed. The Wi-Fi wasn't doing what it was supposed to. So I was like, fuck it, let's wire this shit. Which you get a way better connection. So I, I, I sent a wire all the way through. And then I realized once I sent the wire through, uh, there's not much I could do. Because I had like one cord. I didn't have, I didn't have like multiple plug offs you know where you can plug shit in so I was like oh, okay well actually I kind of do I got the router so let's take the router from there we'll hook directly into uh, the spectrum time Warner, whatever the fuck it is box we'll, we'll root the cord all the way around into the other into the bedroom I'll bring my router we'll put the router right there of course I had to bring the phone because the phone is, is internet I don't, it's, it, it's basically a landline, and it's like for 12 bucks, I was like, fuck it. It's 12 bucks a month, and I was like, you know what, hey, fuck it. So I bring the phone in, I got the router, and then, because the router's got the little, I got like three or four different things in the back, so I got the PS4 hooked up, I got the Xbox One hooked up, well, the X, yeah, the Xbox One, the original, hooked up directly. And the only thing I use Wi-Fi for is my tablets. Oh, and my Macs. Well, that was all fine and good. So I know that, in other words, everything's in here. So when I come in and I, I unplug that, because again, it told me to unplug everything. So I unplugged it, wait 30 seconds. Well, I didn't wait 30 seconds, but whatever. You plug it back in, and it seemed to work for a few minutes, and then it shuts off. And it's been doing it for the last 24 hours. Because what was adorable. What was adorable was that, okay, again, if I get through February, if I get through February, I got the big thing, that's the big ticket item. That's it. You got the Xbox One X. What else is there to get? Unless I won, you know, PS4 Pro. <sighs> Although, I, to be honest with you, I should replace my PS4, to be honest with you. Because that that 2 is running like shit. The, the disk drive is running like shit. It still works. It's like, like if I gave it to you, you'd get a, get years out of it. But for me, it's annoying, and it's slow as shit. I don't know. Whatever. I'm not saying I'm gonna buy a pro, but uh, I should I should buy a pro. Let's put it that way. I should buy the 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 uh, PS4 Pro. 
I should. No, well, I'm going to spend 400 bucks on it. I'm not saying that, but I should. But whatever. Once I got through the the, the, the big thing, because you got to understand, I've, I've, I've brought it upon myself that every month I'm going to buy something big. Not necessarily big, like four or $500 big, but big in the sense of, like, okay, what do I need? You know, what, what around the apartment do I need? What around the house do I need? What do I need? And I was like, okay, well, I want this Xbox One. I want the X. I want the fucking X. It was just, I, I want it. Fuck you. I'm going to get it. So, like I said, if I could get through February, if I could get through February, and of course February is Anthem too. And I was like, okay, well, fine. I got a new system. We get a new game. Be fine. It'd be great. Be wonderful. Be wonderful. And the second that I start downloading said game, which was the tail end of my money, by the way. Oh, and here's the kicker. Speaking of the bank, they didn't charge me for Anthem. I downloaded it. They didn't charge me. It uh, It's not on my account. Now, here's another little dick and a kick. Um... I, cause you never know with these things, cause that happened, cause what happened last year sometime is when I was on my Time Warner Spectrum page to pay the bill, I clicked it. It didn't go through. I clicked it again. Didn't go through. I clicked it again. I clicked it like four or five times, and it's like sixty five bucks. All of a sudden, I go to my account, and my account is like three dollars and twenty-five cents, and I'm like, "What? What?" And I look, there's sixty-four, 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 sixty-four. See, every time I clicked it, they charged me multiple fucking times. So then I had to contact somebody and explain, "Okay, uh, yeah, I don't want to pay for the fucking internet connection five times, fuckers." Luckily, they re reinstated my money, gave it back, etc., etc. <sighs> so I was like, I don't want to fuck around with this shit. I don't want to click it 52 fucking times and then have 52 fucking accounts. Because I have enough for the game, I have enough for Xbox Live Gold, and I have about $15 for the rest of the month. For an emergency, basically. $15. No, Grant, I ain't going anywhere. So, I mean, unless there's, like, nuclear fallout, World War Three, okay, we're good. We're good. Fifteen bucks, eh, you need something, you know, it's fifteen dollars. You know, I need, you know, I don't, like, if I needed a roll of toilet paper, which I don't, because I got, like, a big stack of it, I got, like, thirty fucking rolls of that shit. And, like I said, it was just one of those things where it's like, Oh, you wanted to do this? You 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 thought you thought everything was good up to this point. Well, no, no, the router is gonna shit the bed. Now it sort of kind of still works. I gotta unplug it every fifteen seconds. It'll 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 work for maybe a minute or two. I can you know send off an email if I need to. But it's like, what the fuck am I gonna do until the end of the month? What the fuck am I gonna do? I can't watch TV. Dude, everything. Everything is huckleberried around this fucking internet connection bullshit. So I have no idea what I'm going to do. When Dale T calls on the 17th or whatever, 15th, whatever it is, because it's a short month. I don't know what I'm going to do. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I don't even know when the dude's coming. It's like, oh my god. I so, thought, yeah, I don't, I don't have a fucking router. So, well, I mean, I, I do, but... It ain't working. It ain't working. So, because you know, <clears throat> what happened was, I was like, okay, well, because this is before I realized it was the router. And because it could have been, it could have been Spectrum. We were, in, we were having a blizzard last night. It could have been Spectrum dicking around. You know, I didn't know. I did since find out because what I, what I did is I, Check my tablet, not connected, okay. And I went to the router, which is in the bedroom. I unplugged it, plugged it back in, waited a few seconds, came and checked, and oh, it goes on fine. So it's the router. It's believe me, it's the router. And they're not that expensive. I just don't I have fifteen dollars in my name. 
I was kind of hoping to buy some groceries with that, but neither here nor there. Uh, so, essentially, w w w uh, what happened is that everything lined up perfectly, and then just the minute I was hitting the finish line, I I I celebrated. You know, I threw my hands up in the air, and I I base. You ever see those those bike riders and shit where they're like, hey. And they're like they're like ten feet from the fucking finish line, and they they throw their hands up, and they're like hey, and then they stumble and fall and get all tied up in the bike, and then the guy that was like twenty miles behind rolls on by. That's exactly what happened to me. It was like a fucking meme, okay. All the bills are paid for. I have the money. I download the game. I I download um the internet shit for fucking Xbox One bullshit. I download it all. And the minute we're getting to the finish line, all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah, the router, ding, ding, ding. Oops, sorry, we're going to stop working now. <sighs> because at first I was thinking, okay, did I... I don't have, as far as I know, I don't have, a, like, you know, Wi-Fi usage, like a internet usage uh, cap. And I'm like, did I did I overstep the cap? Because again, you get a new system and you're downloading all the games. Some of them are like 75 GB of information, and I downloaded probably 15, 20 games. <laughs> okay, I look, I look because they have they have an option for like internet usage. Apparently, within the last four days, five days, whatever it was, just on that system alone and I haven't touched my PS4 since I got the Xbox One kind of giving that a little bit of a rest I have downloaded almost and we're talking almost we're talking maybe within like five I've I have downloaded and used and like upload like as far as like uh, YouTube and just I have used almost 400 GB of information. And that's just on the Xbox One. <laughs> that doesn't include the tablets. I haven't done much on the computers. That doesn't... Like, even uploading this 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 clip, you know, that's going to kick some more out. So I, I don't... I don't know what my average usage is. I've never had a problem before. So I was thinking, okay, maybe I, maybe I just overstepped the bounds a little bit. Is it weekly, monthly? No, apparently... Apparently the, the the period is is from like February beginning to February end. So before it rolls back over, I, again I don't know how it works. Maybe it's how the Xbox uh, tracks it. I don't know, or, or maybe the internet connection, as internet provider, that's how they connect it. It's month to month, or it resets. So like if there was an outage, like I've gone over my cap. And it said something like historic levels or or mega levels or like. Insane, it was something like that. Yeah, I think it was like historical levels. <laughs> Refer to it as historical level. I just want a gigabyte, dude. That's a lot of fucking pro. That's a lot of shit. But no, I got like twenty five fucking games. <sighs> Anyways, so <clears throat> back to the story. I download. I'm I'm in the middle of downloading the fucking game, right? Now, of course, it's EA and they're fucking idiots. They don't know any better. God bless them. Forgive them for they know not what they do because they're a bunch of assholes. Well, they do know what they do, but that's neither here nor there. They're a bunch of greedy sons of bitches, but whatever. So they had like 25 different variants. I mean, it was it was the pre-order regular edition and it was a pre-order super hyper deluxe edition, which I didn't really see the purpose of that because... Essentially, you get the VIP demo, which came out, I think, like, the week before the the open beta. Open demo, excuse me, it wasn't a beta. So, in other words, they had, if you pre-ordered the larger version, you got to play it early. And then, because sometimes they give you, like, good perks and shit. Like Red Dead Redemption, you pay the extra 20 bucks... When you go online, you get you get like a gun. You get you, you it gives you like a starter pack essentially. It gives you free shit essentially. Well, not free, but it gives you stuff like in game. Like oh, you get a special horse, or you know, 
Whatever. Well, this didn't seem to give me anything other than the free access. So it's like, oh, pay an extra 20 bucks, you get to play it a few days early. I was like, fuck that. Oh, and you get an emblem. You get a you get a banner. Like, Whoo, $20 banner, motherfucker. Yeah, $20 banner, bitch. Yeah, fuck you. That shit's going to be obsolete within like 10 minutes anyway. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> I'll be pissed I didn't get it, but it is what it is. Well, I was like, well, why am I paying an extra $20 to get a VIP demo that I've already missed? There's no point for that. It's retarded. No, I'm assuming there's other perks. They didn't say. But whatever. I was like, no, fuck. I'm going to get the original dish. Because first of all, I, ain't gonna sp- I don't have 80 bucks. I got to get 80 bucks. Then I got to get 10. It'd be like 90 bucks. It's like, I got 91. No, I don't have money. So I got to get the $6 version anyway. So whatever. But then they had the demo. I don't know if the demo was still up. Because I noticed. Because usually these types of games are like 70 GB worth of information. And, you know, like Destiny is like shit. And. Red Dead Redemption was over 100, I think. It's a, they're, they're, they're topping out pretty good. This fucking thing was like 30. I'm like, what? For this type of game, 30? No fucking way. And it came in like 30, which was the demo. Because the demo came in at 30. And I'm like, or whatever it was. Oh, good. My dog is throwing up. I don't know if you can hear that. Can you hear that? He's hoffing. Dude, why don't you go out in the other room? Dude. Oh. Hock it up. Hock it up, baby. Twist and choof. Uh, anyways. Oh, Jesus. Here he goes again. Oh, God. Oh, dude. What you get for fucking around? Little scumbag. Anyways, what are I talking about? Oh, so I downloaded the game and it was it. They didn't charge me for it, and it was the same size as the demo. So I'm thinking, did I get the demo? Did I buy the demo? It said fifty nine dollars, which is what normally would be. So again, I don't know. They didn't charge me. So, whatever. Anyways, once I got that, and I went to go get the Xbox Live Gold for nine ninety nine, and it shit the bed. When I came back later, oh god, fucking dog, you puked in the house, and it's oh dude, the stench. Mm. It's like it's wave lump around my face. Ugh. <laughs> Mm, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. God damn you, you son of a bitch! Oh, dude, it's like it's just coming over here. It's like the whole st- oh, you little fuck ass. Oh, you little bastard. Anyways, oh god, so all I smell is his vomit. Oh, dude, you got oh, fucking bullshit, dude. I hate this fucking faggot ass reality. Hmm. Oh yeah, I tell you, the only way to get ahead in this fucking life is suck a dick, I tell you. <sighs> Anyways, back to what I was saying. So, I then go to get Xbox Live Gold again. This time I see, oh, well, we're giving you a discount. You can get it for four ninety nine, which is great, so it's like 5 bucks Instead of 10 bucks. Which, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Did they give it to me as a bonus for buying the game? I don't know. They didn't charge me for the game. Anyways, I go on. After all this, I'm like, because everything's starting, the other thing's starting to shit to bed, and I had to get up, and I was like, fuck it, I'm going to go lay down. I want to check some stuff out. And I go, and I check out my account. Well, they took the $5 off, but they still haven't taken off the, uh, the fucking game. So I have no damn clue. And this isn't like Amazon, oh, you, it will charge you when it ships. No, that's the whole point of the pre-order. You give them money now, you get it day one. So, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. 
I mean, honestly, it was like, dude, it, I'm telling you, it would be fucking great if it was like a loophole. Because the thing shit the bed in the middle of it. Or something, I don't know, and it would just been great. You get the game for free, and they don't charge you, but that ain't gonna happen. It's I, I probably end up getting the demo, because again, they didn't charge me, but they charged me for the other thing. So, I really, I have no fucking clue. I have no fucking clue. In fact, the Xbox One probably ruined my router. It's probably what happened, because it happened right around that same time. The minute I was doing it, the router's like, I have um, no... You know, because usually when that shit happens, you start to notice, like, oh, well, the connection's not as good. It's, it starts to shit the bed. It usually doesn't just, like, oh, bleh, bleh, and shit the bed. Or at least it's a couple that I've had. And it seems like it still works. I mean, the lights are lighting up. It's not like, oh, the lights aren't lighting up, or, you know. I don't know. I mean, even still, even if, for example, the Wi-Fi portion of it was, like, fucked up, the plug, the connectors in the back should still be working. The whole thing should still be working. I mean, I could, listen, I could deal with the fact that, okay, the Wi-Fi, you know, it's certain, that's starting to shit to bed. But no, the whole thing, whether it's wired or Wi-Fi, and, no, there's something going on. There's something going on. There's something other than just that. Because, again, you're talking two different things here. No, I could see if the wired stuff was shitting the bed and the Wi-Fi was fine, or the Wi-Fi was fine and the, wired, or the Wi-Fi was fucked up and the wired was good. The idea that the whole thing is shit in the bed, I mean, the off chance that it's just the plug-in, the cord, I, I have no idea, dude. I mean, it could be just the cord. I don't know. What the fuck am I going to do with the, that information? I'm still going to buy a new one. And it's not even that old. I've been here, what, 10 years? I bought it. I took the one from the house. I actually took that one. And, let's see, it's probably 8 years old. I don't know, maybe not even that long. Maybe closer to seven. It's not even that old. So, I have no clue. All I know is I got internet that I can't use. I paid for... Oh my god, I paid for a fucking month. I paid $5 for a month of internet, or for a fucking month of Xbox Live that I can't use. I suppose I could try to hook it up directly, which is going to be a pain in the dick trying to get in the back. And uh, I suppose I could pull out the thing, unplug the current cord, unplug the main cord. So in other words, it goes from the, the Time Warner Spectrum box. The cord goes all the way into the Xbox One. So I could probably plug it in directly. But that means the PS4 doesn't go online. That means my tablets don't go online, my Mac doesn't go online, and my phone doesn't go online. <sighs> I still haven't communicated with Dale T. I don't even know how to get a hold of Dale T. And even if I wanted to send him a fucking letter, like, oh, come come on the 13th or something. I don't have a stamp. I don't have fucking stamps. So, I'm com dude, I'm completely fucked. So, that, that, was, the, that was the story. And I'm telling you right now, as soon as everything gets kind of reset and... Because, you know, you got the monthly budget, you got to stick to it. And it is what it is. Well, when things get resettled, we're not doing this no more. Okay? Now, I'm not going to go greedy and go crazy, but... If there's shit that I need, like, if it breaks, I'm fucked. Like, for example, something breaks... On let's say the eighth or ninth of the month, and I gotta wait the entire month, and I'm broke, or I don't have enough money for it, or something happens. Like okay, let's say I've got money for something, but my internet shits to bed. I can't go to Amazon and just oh I need that. Like I can't go to Amazon and buy a new router because the router's fucked up. Okay, so <laughs> what I'm gonna do? What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a list of the shit that I absolutely have to have. And I'm going to get double. I'm going to buy two of them. 
My water distiller. That's that's top fucking billing right now. Because without that shit, I am fucking fucked. Fucking fuck, fuck, fuck. Because without that, I can't... Dude, you should see... You should see the filth that's in the fucking water. This shit is like hard water bullshit. You should see the amount of dust and shit and dirt and filth that's in... Oh my god, it is gross. It's like... Uh, it. Oh my god, it's filthy. And there's no way I can drink that shit. So first and foremost, we're getting a new water distiller. There's no question about that. Now once I get a new router, I probably don't need to buy a new router right away. But like I gotta determine, okay, if I run out or something breaks, what what do I absolutely need? Like I need flashlights. Um I need some basic survival gear. I mean like, dude, if it was a fucking nuclear winter, nuclear fallout or some fucking thing, or World War Three hit. I don't even have, like, matches and shit. I couldn't even start a fire. I'd be rubbing sticks together with my nuts and shit. I think, no. I don't even have a basic first aid kit. I don't have batteries. Well, I've got some batteries, but not, like, flashlights. Flashlights, that's another thing. I'll tell you one thing, though. Fucking power went out the other night. Like, a week or two ago. In the middle of the fucking night. It was, like, 2 o'clock in, in the morning. And it was, like, pitch fucking black. Absolute pitch fucking black. Like, just nothing. Dead silence, nothing. And I had to go to the bathroom. Hey, no way. Excuse me. There's no way I could have made it to the bathroom in the pitch black. Luckily, I've got these two tablets here. One was charging, and the other one was, uh, you know, brand new. It was like 100%. So I grabbed that, turned it on, let the little light guide me. Guide me, guide my path, Lord. Okay, type shit. And of course, you know, whatever. So me and the dog are sitting in the dark with the, the tablet sitting on the sink, illuminating very minimal nothing. And I'm sitting there looking around. Whatever. And then when I came back, it was like, okay, well, I'm kind of not tired. What am I going to do? Because... You say you're sitting in the dark. There ain't nothing to do except you know play with your dick. That's about all you got. And even then, it was like well, you know porn. So what the fuck, you know. So I did the next best thing to porn. I went and read some Batman comics because the whole point of getting the other tablet was to put the Batman comics on there for just the time. As the Bible would say, just as a t just such as a time as this. Okay, it's exactly why I did that. So I I got to read some comic books. At 2 o'clock in the morning. 3 o'clock in the morning. So. But I have. I don't have flashlights. I don't have batteries. I don't have matches. I, I have like. No. I don't have. I don't have a stockpile of food. I have nothing. I mean literally if, if we went to World War 3. We got, I got nothing. Like Antichrist takeover type shit. Okay. Buying and selling. Thou shalt not bullshit. Okay, I I ain't got I don't I got nothing. I got nothing. So uh, I do wish I had money for a fucking generator. Maybe I'll get one of those uh, cheap ones. Those like uh, well, not cheap ones, but they have those. Uh, DLT had one. It was like a couple hundred bucks. You charge it, it, it's charging, it's got like a light on the side of it, and you can plug stuff into it. A little tiny one, but it was nothing, like it wasn't like an actual generator, it was more of like, like something you take camping to get, you know, a cell phone signal kind of a deal, or cell phone charge. It wasn't like anything spectacular. But I need to get at least something. At least, bare minimum, something. So... <sighs> I'm tired. I feel like shit. I got nothing. Anyway, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the year. Not only am I going to be getting stuff around the house, like, I got to get knives. I got to get knives for the kitchen. I want to get all those little, uh, they have those nice knife sets that, you, you know, got the little wood thing that they're they're sticking out of. I need to get a, I need to get one of those. Um... Because I bought some cool stuff so far. I mean, so far we're only two months into the into the new year. 
Last month I bought a new toaster, which I needed. And it was Batman, so it was awesome. And I got pot holders, which I needed. They weren't Batman, but they're awesome. Actually, I should have got Batman pot holders. Fuck, I never thought of that. She can like, oh, dude, I should deck out the whole kitchen, Batman. Fuck. Get a Batman refrigerator. I'd probably get a decal. Whatever. Anyways. <sighs> so yeah, I did that in February or January. <sighs> Fucking yawning like an old broad. What the hell, man? And then this this month I got um, I got the Xbox One. And I got the Xbox One, basically. I was going to, you know, whatever. Whatever. <sighs> because next month I was planning... What was I going to do next month? I was going to do the knife set next month. And it was something else I needed to get. I can't remember. I get a couple things. Like, again, stuff that I actually need. Oh, oh, oh in January, I also got some shirts, too. I was going to I was gonna get some shirts this month, but obviously because of the Xbox One, I didn't have that kind of money. So March, I was going to buy myself a couple shirts, which I'm going to have to now put on hold because now i got to get a fucking router. Not that they're... Believe me, the shirts are far more expensive than a fucking router will be, but... Oh, my God. So I, like, I don't know what to fucking do. I don't know what to do. Even if I hook it directly to the Xbox One, it still doesn't help me with the phone. Trying to get in cahoots with Dale T. Uh, like I don't even know how I'm going to upload this freaking clip. I don't even think I'll be able to upload this clip. Because I don't think the son bitch will even let me stay online long enough. Uh, so you may not even hear this. You know, I might be dead. I could be dead months and you wouldn't even know it. Uh, anyways... What else is there? Um, uh, do, 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 do. No, everything's good other than the fucking little router decides it's not going to work. And it was like, I was a guy, like I said, I was right in the home stretch. I had my little hands up in the air. I was pedaling my bike. And then all of a sudden, it just wobbled. We took a bad, bad wobble. And next thing you know, I am on the ground and... The, the, the tire, the rim is all bent up, and it's like wrapped around my legs and thigh, and it hit me in the back of the head, and I face planted. And then Maki comes squealing by, looking at me, as he, he looks over his shoulder at me, laughing as he, he goes on by. And he wins the race. That's how it played out, motherfucker. And you want to, why didn't you do this when you were 15? This is why I didn't do this when I was 15. This is why I didn't go to college. Oh, the fact I couldn't afford it. See, that's the thing. I don't think you understand. When you have a spine of and you can't fucking do a lot of things. Yeah, you could rack up 80 grand in debt. And you know what? It would suck, but you could have worked at the gas station in Camden for the rest of your life and paid off that 80 grand. Okay. You could have. It would have been difficult, but you could have done it. You could have worked at Super Duper. You could have worked almost anywhere. Me, I couldn't do that shit. I couldn't be on my feet for eight hours. I couldn't do that stupid shit. So unless I landed a really nice, cushy fucking professorship, okay, worth paying decent money, or at least, at least enough to, you know, enough to know better, I was fucked. I would have been fucked if I ran up that kind of debt. I'd still be paying for that shit. Okay, there's no way I'd be able to pay that shit off. I mean, you don't understand. It isn't just one or two things falling into place. There was a shitload of stuff that had to fall into place. And, like Clint Eastwood said, you know, man's got to know his limits, okay? A man's got to know his limitations. I knew my limitations at 15. It wasn't lazy. It wasn't being unmotivated. I understood. God and I had a cosmic relationship. We had an understanding. I had a near-death experience. Died. Met the guy. Okay. And ever since then, I have had this weird understanding of life. Okay. And I'm not saying it's funny or ha-ha. I'm telling you. It's odd. Very fucking strange to me. And I knew from day one that certain things were just not in the cards for me. Like, 
you know, marriage and kids and happy ever after. Shit ain't happening, okay? That's basic shit that ain't happening for me. I knew that when I was, I was five years old and I knew that. I said to my mother, that ain't never going to happen. She said something like, oh, you'll grow up and have kids of your own one day. And I'm like, no, it ain't happening. I was five years old and I said that to her. I said, it ain't happening. And she's, why? And I was like, I'm not pointed. It was, you know, whatever. <sighs> Fucking stupid, but whatever. I knew shit wasn't going to happen because this type of shit happens to me all the fucking time. Now, I know, like, for example, I know, okay, if, if it happened to you, you rot or shit to bed, you know what you do? You get in your little, you get in your little fucking minivan, your little fucking, little, little fucking Honda bullshit with a stupid little car seat in the back. Listen, I get it. You just get in the car, you go to Walmart or wherever. I can't do that. You know I can't do that. You know I can't do that. I don't have credit card. Can't just charge it. Wasn't expecting it to shit the bed today. Because it was running fine. Running fine. All of a sudden, bloop. I don't know, man. I don't know. 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 Again, like I said, I can't just do that shit, okay, I can't just, oh, eh, okay, no, you can do that, so you don't understand what it's like, you don't understand that, where I do, I mean, forget the driving issue, I mean, that alone is an issue, like, we're just trying to drive, believe me, it's, I know how to drive, first off, I do know how to drive, I was really good at it, too. It's not, it's not a matter of that. It's a matter of having spasms in my fucking leg to the point where the muscle locks out and my leg is like, Poof. okay, it just stretches out to the point of like, Ugh. okay, and it like shakes and it's like, oh, honestly, God, it feels like I'm being electrocuted. Okay, I don't know if you've ever stepped into an electric fence before, although that's more of a overall, like every cell in your body is vibrating. This is more like, my leg is just, the muscles are like, and especially the cramping and shit, and then it locks out. I don't want to be behind the wheel, and all of a sudden I just slam into a fucking bunch of people. It's it's, it's oh, just so I can be like everybody else, but we're just, just going to drive and be like everybody else. Yeah, and then hump the curb and kill a bunch of people. Sure, yeah, good. So I can conform to everybody else. No, I'm not kidding, but you get my point. Like, I, I don't, I, I, <laughs> No. I refuse to do it. I refuse to put other people's lives in danger because, oh, I got to go to Walmart to get a router. I mean, I'll survive. I'll survive like I always do because it's what I fucking do. But it just sucks, you know? You understand? I can't just, at the drop of a hat, be like, oh, let's go do something right now. It just it doesn't work that way. Like, like, DLT doesn't understand that shit. It's like, I'm here to walk around and walk around the house. Dude, if I... I his, his, magic, his magic cure for my spina bifida and tethered spine and herniated discs and all that shit is to walk around the house. Like, not around, like, inside the house. He means, like, actually go outside and walk physically around the house. Which, well, you know, you know, you know, build up your stamina. And, 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 dude, he is not about stamina, motherfucker. It's about the muscles saying, guess what, fucker? We're not working anymore. Now, again, I don't know if you've ever had, like, a big swatch of muscle in your lower back just give out and be like, fuck it, we're done. We're done. Okay, we're talking, like, like, like all system failure here. We're talking physical collapse, we're talking your mid, your, your, your core, your lower middle core, your, 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 uh, lumbar region just says, fuck you, and there's no structure there, if you, I mean, think about it like this, like, all of a sudden, your leg just fell off, or, like, you had no use of your leg, imagine trying to walk with no use of your leg, 
that's kind of what it's like. It, it, I don't know. And I'm not making excuses, believe me. It, it's not, oh, you're just lazy. You know, I, dude, it's, <laughs> I wish it was just being lazy. I wish it was simply that. I honestly, God, I wish I'd do. If it was lazy, I could, I could do stuff for myself. I'd be willing to do stuff for myself. It's just, it's not, it's not a lazy issue. It's not. And it pisses me off when the LTs are lazy. Lazy. <sighs> again, I wish it was just simple laziness. It's a matter of, again, it's a matter of just, you know, the flesh is, the, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak kind of a deal. It literally is that, where it's like, okay, I want to move forward, but okay, nothing's working. Again, that's how I got the hernia in the front, the, the stomach hernia, the, the like my guts are hanging out kind of hernia. I woke up one morning, this is back in Tabor, this is back in the Tabor estate. I woke up, I'm on my back, and I can't feel my legs. I mean, I could wiggle my toes, but I couldn't move my legs. I couldn't feel them either. Like, I was rubbing, like, the upper thigh part. Like, I, I mean, I could, well, I shouldn't say I couldn't feel them. I could feel them, but they were, like, numb and stingy. Like, <laughs> Apparently, I had basically laid on a nerve or something. I couldn't physically move my fucking legs. I had to... Because I had the, the desk right next to the bed, so I had the, the desk chair sitting right there. I had to reach over and like try to pull myself up, which is why I ended up getting a hernia in the first place. Now, I got the herniated disc, which are different, but the actual physical hernia, the, the gut's hanging out... That happened because I was pulling and trying to get up. Oh, my God. Because that shit used to happen to me when I was out on the deck. Like, if I laid flat on a flat surface, like like a wood surface of the deck, I can't move my fucking legs. I cannot... If I can turn over, I'm okay. Like, if I can kind of get to the side, I'm good. But if I'm laying flat on my back... My legs just stop working. They literally stop fucking working. Again, I can feel them, wiggle the toes, the whole nine. But it's like just a side of paralysis. Honest to God, it's it's like I, because <laughs> that one day I actually had to physically, like, sit up in the bed. Which I don't know if you ever tried to sit up in bed. You know, like exercise sort of way, like like, like do, <sighs> and. I literally had to reach down with my hands and try to grab my, my calf and my thigh and my leg and, like, hoist it over the side of the bed. Once I got over to the side of the bed and I was able to sit up, I was okay. It was, and it wasn't even, like, a blood flow issue. It wasn't even that. This shit, I could have had a fucking blood clot. It probably, it probably did. Probably I'm a, This is probably some alternate universe of just, like, oh, yeah, go fuck yourself. More of the problem. You know, more of the same problem. Think of all the fucking multiple universes I could have jumped into. It'd be this one. Fuck me. But again, that's how I got the hernia. Like I said, I had to physically lift my leg. And I couldn't lift it. Because, again, you got a picture sitting there. Sitting up in your bed as best you can. Trying to lift your leg. It just, it doesn't work. But I was trying to move it. You know, so I could kind of. And once I got to the side. Once I got to the, you know, where I was kind of laying on my side. I was able to, like, move better, I could actually get a, uh, it's, it's weird, <sighs> and people don't understand it, like, you try to explain that to Dale Teaser, 101 excuses, like, I, you know, they think, well, my back hurts too, you know, I'm like, DLT, I know your back hurts, because you, you work your ass off, okay, it's different, they're not different, the same thing. no, DLT, it's different, okay, your back hurts because you're old, and you probably fucked it up at the mill. You worked all your all your life at the mill. You probably fucked up your body. Mine was fucked up from the beginning. Like, again, to the point where the whole sections of my lower back and right fucking hip, where it's like, that shit goes out, that shit gets strained or flustered in any way. It's like, yep, yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. You're bedridden for a week. To the point of, like, excruciating, crying out in pain. Fucking bullshit. Honest to God, I don't think people understand what it's like to have... You, you, <coughs> whatever. I don't think people understand what it's like to have their fucking nerves 
just like twist in a wiener package, like just just twist like a fucking like you're wringing out a towel. Especially when I herniated those discs. Wow, dude. I would be laying here and like if I try to just stretch my leg out like even a couple inches, just like I just did it right now. Like if you, if you brought your your foot up to you like around your knee or your calf and then you try to stretch it out so that it was you know stretched out, all of a sudden the lower back would like tighten up and just like like the muscles would twist like I said like a, a like you're wringing out a wet rag and just like just oh my oh dude that shit would catch it was like it, honest to God it was like somebody was stabbing you in the back and just twisting the knife that's what it felt like. Like that time I was standing there and I was I was peeing. I was standing there urinating. You're fucking eating. And all of a sudden I felt the pain in my lower back and like in my thigh hip region. And in the, just 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 on the other side of the lumbar, like between the hip and the lumbar area. I swear to Christ, I thought somebody was in the house. I thought I thought there was somebody who broke in. Somebody was standing behind the door and they knifed me. I honestly got I look I literally looked behind me. I was like, holy shit, somebody's behind me. I thought somebody knifed me. I swear to God. I'm not joking when I say that. That's not hee hee ha ha. Honestly God, I thought somebody broke in and, and, and just jammed the knife into my side. That's what it felt like. And then my fucking leg went out and I fell into into the wall. Like I'm I'm like my side of my face and my shoulder into the wall I'm still holding on to what's, what I can in my dick and I'm still peeing I magically got into the bowl because you understand I kind of like keeled over a little bit oh, that shit was not fun oh speaking of, of not fun and I'm man enough to admit this it is the first week going on second week of February I have made an entire Full year of peeing sitting down. I can say it. I can admit it. I pee sitting down like a woman. I, I, <laughs> my back is so fucked up that I refuse to stand up. I refuse to do it. I refuse to do it. I haven't. I, I've been. I haven't been more happier. It's it's embarrassing to admit, but. It's been a full year. I honestly got every single time, and I got a small bladder because of spina bifida. So like, if I drink, like anything I drink within like ten minutes, it goes right through my shit. And like I'm sometimes like if I drink water a lot, I'm up every ten fifteen minutes. And you're talking like ten fifteen twenty times a day sometimes, and that scenario. Every single day for a year. Every single time for a year. Multiple times a day, I'm sitting there, just tinkling away. And I don't feel bad about that. It's embarrassing to admit. Okay, it is absolutely embarrassing as a man to admit that I pee sitting down. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. After having, like, literally my entire back just give out and I collapse into the wall like I mentioned, I was like, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. I'm living by myself. The dog dog thinks I'm a piece of shit already. The dog thinks I'm pathetic as it is. He didn't, you know, he going to look at me and be like, "Huh? Oh, <laughs> ain't standing up like a man." I'm like, Fuck you, dog. You know, he already thinks I'm an idiot. So it is what it is. And I, like I said, I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about that. I really don't know how I'm supposed to feel about that cuz you know, it's degrading. I'm not going to sit there and pretend it's not. I'm not going to sit there and say otherwise. But, you know, better than peeing on myself, you know, better than, than, than having my leg go out and pee on myself. Because I fell forward, you know, into the sink practically, like bent over into the sink. The sink's right, right there, and it's like, oh my god. But, no, one year anniversary this week. One year anniversary. And, you know, hey. And you wonder why I didn't rack up 80 grand in debt, motherfucker. I can't even pee standing up. I can't pee standing up. Do you understand? Do you hear the words? I cannot urinate like a man. I have to urinate like a bitch. I have to sit on the toilet like a woman. Okay, do you hear the words? 
you hear the words, you're like, well, why didn't you do this when you were 15? Why didn't you do that when you were 16? Why didn't you do that when you were younger? You know why I didn't do that shit? I wasn't allowed to do that shit. I wasn't allowed to do that shit. You think I want to be sitting here in my own self-pity? Waiting to die? You think that's what I want in my life? No. It is what it is. You think I want to be sitting here with... I mean, honest to Christ, think about the logic of this. I, I am sitting here. I can't even buy a fucking Xbox One X and a game that I had saved up for for multiple months. I can't do that. And have and have everything work the way it's supposed to. Yet, scumbags like Donald Trump, scumbags like Chuck Schumer, scumbags like Nancy Pelosi, scumbags like the Republican Party, or the Democrats, or Rush Limbaugh, or people at Fox News, or people at MSNBC, or George Soros, or, or, or name your fucking scumbag, the Bushes, the Clintons, all these motherfuckers... You know what? Their router goes shits to bed. They got a little manservant to go out and get a new one. And they're millionaires. Some of them billionaires in cases. Okay? You want to talk about... Fucked. <laughs> Don't even get me started. These motherfuckers can, can have whatever the fuck they want. I ain't, I ain't bothering nobody. I may go online and say some horrible things to developers who fucked it up. Okay? And be like, hey, you guys fucked it up. Don't forget, you guys fucked it up, and here's how we can make it better. See, I try to do constructive, you know, hostility. No, I gotta go online and hear about how great a game is because fucking Kotaku, those fucking scumbags, like, oh, this new game, what was the name of it? Uh, whatever, it's from Respawn, whatever the new game is, like, oh, we're going to celebrate diversity, diversity, there's two black women, there's a, there's a black Samoan dude, there's just that and the other, and blah, 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 we have all these different, different races and stuff, yeah, you know what, they're all boring as fuck, too, you got your diversity, but they suck, don't even get me started with that stuff. Like, honest to God, why can't you have a woman who looks normal? And I don't mean normal, like, dykey normal, like, lesbian, biker normal. Like, I swear to God. I was playing Halo Wars 2, which is their, their, their what, RTS, where it's like you, you set up the little, little turrets and you set up the little bases and shit. Not a typical first-person shooter Halo, but it's, you know, their, their other Halo franchise. And they have this AI, and I gotta be honest with you, her name's Isabel, or Isabella, or whatever. You're gonna spend multi-trillions of dollars on an AI, and for some reason the AI doesn't look like Cortana. She's got clothes, she's dressed, I didn't get it. Why would you spend trillions of dollars to make your AI look derpy? I don't get it. She's got the short hair. She she looked like a lesbian. Because we got to get all this diversity bullshit in there. Okay, they're overly sexualized. and I like overly sexualized. I like women. I'm sorry. Call me a bad guy. You know? I like seeing nice titties and nice round ass. That's why I like Cortana. Although, I don't know what the fuck... Every time they do Cortana, it's like she looks different. Like one minute she's got the gap between her buck teeth, and the next minute it's like, I mean, honestly, you look at Cortana like year one. I understand that the the you know systems get more powerful, and she can look more realistic, so to speak. But it's like the design has not been kind. Okay. You know, like for example, you look at Mario. It's basically the same character. You can say, okay. There's a little bit of a difference between NES Mario versus SNES Mario, but, you know, SNES Mario looks very similar to Mario 64. Mario 64 looks a lot like Mario Sunshine. Mario Sunshine looks a lot like Mario Galaxy. Mario Ga In other words, yeah, the character progressively looks better, hopefully, you know. But, now, obviously, there's a difference between like the 8-bit versus, you know, 64, 
or 8-bit versus, you know, Mario Odyssey, which is the newest one. Obviously, there's a difference between that. But when seriously, when you look at, like, Cortana Year 1 versus Cortana, like, today, you don't even look at the same bitch. It's like the, she don't even look like the same woman. I don't get it. But seriously, all I want to do is, is promote all this diversity bullshit. I am not against diversity. What I am against, what I am against is shitty fucking product. Shitty fucking product. I Listen, I will celebrate whoever creates a good game. I don't care if you got transvestite midgets from the Pleiades who suck dick and, and, and stick carrots up their assholes on a daily basis. And worship Satan. I don't give a fuck. I will celebrate that vile filth. I will celebrate that if they can make a good game. It's like, take 343. They hired, for Halo 5, they hired people who didn't even know who Master Chief was. They produced a shitty game in the sense that microtransactions and, and, and burnable cards and shit that you buy. Like, oh, you want a tank? Which I understand. I could deal with the whole tank wreck system and shit. Whatever. But, no. No. They made a crappy game that was not Halo. Again, I've said this before. If you like Halo 5, you don't like it. If you like Halo 5, then you're not a fan of Halo, basically. That's just how it is. And... They basically destroyed the fucking community. Nobody cares about Halo anymore. No one. They completely destroyed that franchise. They single-handedly destroyed the franchise. Like, honestly, God, I haven't played Halo regularly. Shit. So that's like four. Five came out, and I was like, I was done with it in like less than a week. I think about three days. I was like, this isn't. This just sucks. I played the campaign. That was about it. Online? Nah, I'm done. I'm good, bruh. Kind of a deal. Okay. So, in other words, they split the fan base because people just hated it. And they killed the franchise. And then they go on like, oh, let's celebrate how many women we have working for us now. It's like, you, you really want to you, you really talk about that right now. You really want to you wanna go there right now. Mm-hmm. Really? Really? Now, okay, how about Halo 3? Halo 3, everybody loves. Let's talk about the women who work there. I'm all for that. You got transvestite midgets from space who stick carrots up their ass and, you know, fuck each other. Whatever. I'll celebrate that, too. I'll celebrate anything you want to celebrate. In Halo 3, anything dealing with Halo 3, you got women, and you got women in the marketing, you got women in the, you know, whatever. Let's celebrate that, but you want to go, oh, uh, Halo 5 is the newest game, everybody hates it, let's celebrate women. That doesn't make me want to celebrate women. That makes me wonder why women are even working there if they don't understand what the fuck they're doing. Okay, now it's not just them, okay, I'm not going to trash just one whole gender. I'm not going to sit there and do that. But, again, why are we celebrating people who fucked it up? I don't understand that. That is just shit you don't do. You don't celebrate people who fuck things up. You celebrate people who know what the fuck they're doing. God of War. I will celebrate anybody who worked there. Anybody. I don't care if they're gay. I don't care if... Whatever. Red Dead Redemption 2. I will celebrate anybody who worked there. You got you got transvestite lesbian lovers with ring nose ring half the side of their hair is shaved. I will celebrate them. I will celebrate them. Mass Effect Andromeda. They fucking ruined the franchise. No. They fucked that game up. So bad that they canceled the game. It came out and they had all this DLC plan. They canceled all that. They disbanded the actual team who who brought it out. And it's literally selling for like 10 bucks digitally right now. And then they go and like, oh, well, let's celebrate the women who work there. Okay. And ain't none of them look like normal women. And none of them look like a normal woman. 
you know, they all look like that, 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 you know, half the, half the side of the hair is shaved and ring nose and that type of shit. The tattoo, the, the, the typical stereotypical, like, what the hell is this thing? Okay. You know, it ain't, it ain't just, you know, like somebody who looks like, you know, your average mother or your average wife, okay? It isn't just like, oh, this is Susie and, you know, she's from uh, Ohio. No. I celebrate Susie from Ohio. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, but, you know, hey, she's a normal woman, you know, goes to church, goes to, you know, whatever, takes care of the kids, works at the game. Fine, celebrate that. But no, we're going to celebrate all this diversity because we have to have all these diverse people. We've got a Chinese-American. Oh, but you also know what you have? A shitty fucking game. <sighs> Again, let's make the fucking game. And then we can celebrate and toot our own fucking horn that we have diversity. Because here's what's happening. Games are sucking, yet they're promoting diversity. Well, if that's all you're worried about is putting diversity into the game, then here's the newsflash. The game should at least be halfway fucking decent. If the game is universally criticized for being a shitty fucking game, then maybe you need to get your priorities straight. That's all I'm going to say on that. Because what you're doing is instead of somebody like me who would celebrate women in diversity and women with ring nose and, you know, dikey women, hey, you know what? Guess what? Like the woman who did Uncharted. I celebrate that woman on a 100% level. That's a good quality fucking game. Somebody like that needs to be put on a pedestal and say, Hey, look, a woman. A woman. Okay. Man, a woman. Bring it on, woman. Okay. Celebrate that shit. You want to sit there and Oh, we're going to do Mass Effect Andromeda. We got a gay character. They had problems with that fucking game to the point where their fucking faces were like dead-eyed and bullshit and their, their fucking faces were like blah, 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 all over the place. Yeah, you know what they did? Did they fix that? No, the first thing they wanted to do, they wanted to go in and make the one gay character be more believable. They wanted to make his dialogue a little more better, so they spent all their time fixing that. Yet yeah, half their fucking... Yeah, the memes of, of Mass Effect Andromeda were so outrageously hysterically like how are they how did this happen? They didn't fix the faces. Well they did eventually later, but they didn't fix the faces at the front, but no. What did they do? Oh well oh, we gotta get this gay character right. We gotta make sure the gay community is represented. All point zero one percent of them because if they go in there and they see a gay character and his 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 face is all fucked up well, that's just horrible. Yet everybody else, every other fucking NPC, their face like like their fucking eyes are hanging out and their dicks are out and like nah, and you see their teeth, but there's no lips and shit. No, oh, you know, give fucking nightmares to everybody else. But no, as long as as long as the fucking homo is sitting there sucking dick and he's proper, whoo! Thank God we dodged the bullet there. Are you fucking kidding me with that shit? And it's getting to the point where, as a fat, angry white man, I don't feel like I'm being represented. Okay. I'm, I'm not. Like, you look at Star Wars Battlefront. Oh, well, we got a Chinese-American character. Okay, that's great. Don't get me wrong. I got nothing against Chinese women at all. But do they have to be butt ugly? It's like this random, generated... Asian woman. No, I've seen some attractive Asian women. No, why can't we have attractive people? Why? Why is that such a negative in in reality now? If I want to see people who look like me, or people who look like these people, guess what? I'll go to the fucking supermarket and watch some angry house mom walk around and beat her fucking kids. While the kids are trying to eat the donuts. I don't want that. This is called fanta fucking C. It's called a fantasy. My fantasy is not to see an obese fat woman running around the fucking store talking about diversity. It's not my fantasy. Yes, my fantasy is big tits, tight ass, nice chubby little fucking ass. That's all I want. 
Yes, and I want my, my I want my dude to look handsome. I want him to have a decent body. I don't want to I don't want to run around with a fat dude. Now you could have no depending on the game you could have a fat dude like Fortnite could have a fat dude. I'm talking like a big fat dude like brr. okay. You can put that in there, but I, nobody wants I I don't want to play somebody who's got handicaps. I don't want to. I got enough of my own goddamn handicaps. I'll be like, oh, my, my, my superhero's got handicaps, too. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I don't want to play a handicapped fucking character. I mean, seriously. I mean, I don't know. Look, I can understand, like, okay, your daughter's running around in a wheelchair. I get that. Does she really? Would she really want to play a video game about somebody else running around in a wheelchair? Maybe to a point. But when it's like, oh, everybody's in a wheelchair. It's like, no, everybody's not in a wheelchair. If anything, your daughter would probably want to play Superman and fly around because she can't fucking move, okay? It's the exact opposite. I don't want to celebrate what's fucked up about my life. I don't think every character in the, in the game should have to pee sitting down. Because what well, needs to be a representative of reality. My reality fucking sucks. I want a faux reality. I want faux reality. I want a good-looking woman who loves me even though she's digital. I want the Cortana, okay? I want that because I ain't got it in real life. Again, the whole point of this is to escape real life because real life fucking sucks. It is lonely and bitter and angry. It is all of those things, yet all of a sudden now we got to have... I mean, seriously, okay... Okay, so I can get rejected by every single woman who sees me because they objectify me, but yet, oh, let me objectify a woman in a video game and I'm a son of a bitch. White toxic masculinity. Are you fucking kidding me? Dude, if I ever had kids and somebody came, one of them came up to me and talked about toxic masculinity, I, I'd punch that little fucker until one of us passed out. <sighs> Swear to God. You want to talk toxic masculinity, motherfucker? You need a shoe in your ass. There's some toxic masculinity for you. Why don't we celebrate the fact that we're all fucking stupid? How about that? Instead of instead of being dictated to on a good way, we're dictated to. Oh yeah, you want these ugly fucking characters that you you have to look at for forty plus hours? No, I don't want an ugly fucking character that I got to look at for forty plus hours. You know what I do want? Something I ain't gonna get in real life. Because I am that fucking pathetic. Yes, I am. I pee sitting down. Yes, I want an attractive woman as my character. With big tits, okay? Not huge. They don't need to be like super huge, you know. But even just normal. Just a basic... I, I would just be happy. I would be happy. And I understand there's just people just, you know, women and, you know, all this woke, go broke stuff. I, listen, I am fuck all that Republican Trump shit. Okay, I'm not even talking that nth degree. I'm talking just give me a woman who looks like a normal woman. And I don't mean normal in the, oh, look at her. She's got the short, weird hair and she's got the ring in her nose. That's not normal. That is like nth degree abnormal. I want just a regular chick. You know? Give me a fucking chick. You're not gonna spend a trillion dollar AI and make her look like a fucking derpy tweener piece of shit, okay? You're gonna turn her into a... Uh, I mean, honestly, God. This Isabella bitch from Halo Wars 2, she looks like she should be some depressed 16-year-old reading poetry and shit. Wearing black and, and, and you know, being goth and shit. Like, I want to celebrate that. Like, I really want part of that in my existence. Oh, my God. I just want people to leave me alone. Just, you know, hey, you know what? If I like big tits, give me a fucking break. It's like, oh, but if I want to suck a dick, I'm I'm equally represented. But if I like women... Nope, nope, sorry, you're objectifying. Dude, I, that objectifying stuff pisses me the fuck off. Because we objectify every goddamn thing. You know why? Because we have two things called fucking eyeballs. If I wake up and go outside and get up to go pee, 
and sit down, and I go out in the living room, and I see that the dog is pooped on the floor, I see that, I objectify that, and I walk around it. Okay, I don't just, just start willy-nilly walking around without paying a fucking attention, because you know what happens, you're banging the fucking walls. Okay, so every goddamn person objectifies every goddamn thing they see. So please, take your objectification and shove it up your fucking ass. Absolutely hate that bullshit. You objectify women. You goddamn right, I objectify women. Why? Because I like women and I like big tits and I have eyes. <laughs> okay. Well, you shouldn't do that. Well, okay, well, if that's the case, they shouldn't objectify me and say, oh, you're just a fat piece of shit. They don't know me. You don't know me. Eh, eh. Snap my fingers three times. You don't know me. Eh, eh. Okay, make the little Z pattern. You don't know me. Eh, eh, eh. Bullshit. Bullshit. They objectify me on a fucking daily basis. Yeah, because I'm attracted to women. I, I you know, I like, I like, and I'm not even talking like huge tits. I'm talking just like just nice, ample little titties and a nice plush little butt. That's all I'm looking for. That's it. Nice, nice, you know, she have big thighs. I, you know, whatever. Why, why, why am I such a bad person? Yeah, oh, but yeah, if I wanted a fucking gay guy sucking dick, I, I swear to God, I'm surprised we haven't had that in the game yet. Literally, somebody sucking each other off. I'm surprised we haven't actually seen that yet. And again, I'm not an asshole. Hey, guess what? You play a game like whatever, like the original Mass Effect trilogy, and you're, you're you play as a dude, and you want to romance another dude and bang another dude. Hey, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Just give me the hot little little alien babe. A nice little titties, a little ass. I'll bang her in the shower. It's great. You know? I don't understand why people can't have what they want. I don't know. It's like, everybody else can have what they want, but if I want something that's a specific thing, well, you're just objectifying women. Really? You're telling me lesbians don't objectify each other? And be like, I don't really like her. She she doesn't have, she doesn't look like a boy, so I don't like her. She's a little too feminine for me, really. Uh, that, that's okay, but me saying, oh yeah, I, I want a woman that just looks like a normal fucking woman with titties. Okay, I'm an asshole. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? <coughs> <coughs> no, I'm sorry. But again, we objectify everything. Now, I'm sorry, like, if you're looking at your wife, and she's got spinach between her fucking teeth, you're objectifying that. You're not just going to be like, well, I should, I'll just let her do her. She can do, she can be who she wants to be. No, you're going to say, honey, you ain't leaving the house with the fucking shit in your teeth. You're an embarrassment. I love you, but you're an embarrassment. Uh, but you've objectified me. I wanted the spinach in my teeth. I mean, come on, man. Let's put this shit in perspective. Like, honest to God. Like, you're going to let your kid run around with, like, I like dick t-shirt? No. You're going to objectify that. You're going to look at that and say, no, fuck you. Put the kibosh on that shit. I mean, give me a break. Oh, uh, but just let them be who they want. Seriously, you're going to let one of your daughters dr dress up like a fucking hooker when she's 16. Are you going to put the foot down and say, no, you ain't doing that, not in my house. Give me a break. Oh, but she can do what she wants. She's an adult. She's a young adult now. And she can be whoever she wants to be. She could be gender fluid if she wants. No, too. <laughs> gender fluid. You know what gender fluid is? Basically shit streaming out of your fucking asshole. This, this cisgender fucking shit. Oh, my God. Don't even get me... Dude, there's two fucking genders. I don't give a fuck. No, yeah, listen, I understand sometimes people with dicks, you know, there's chromosome mishaps and whatnot. I Listen, I get that. But, no. Okay, no. Do you have a dick? Yes or no. Do you have tits? Yes or no. End of discussion. Oh, I don't identify with that. Well, I don't identify you as being sane either, so shut the fuck up. That's mental fucking... That's a mental issue. It is. Absolutely mental issue. It is. 
Well, I don't. Ob I have a penis, but I don't objectify to it. Well, okay. Here's a news flash. You know, Caitlyn Jenner. How about you take the knife to your fucking cock and balls? I see you didn't do that yet. You just want to run around with a little fucking dress on, and you want to have your little dick tucked between your ass cheeks. Okay. But I I identify as being a woman. Uh, uh, I'm Caitlyn Jenner, and I, I objectify as being a woman, and I, I sound like this. No, motherfucker, you don't. You know what you identify with? Being a fucking idiot. You can do whatever you want. Don't give a fuck. You want to be a woman? Then guess what? Go all the fucking way. Go all the fucking way. All these all these fucking people who just like, oh, I just want to get the boob job and have the face and wear the dress. Then you're a freak. You're an absolute fucking freak of nature, dude. Then I'm part different gender. No, dude, you're not. You're just, you've got a mental issue. Listen, I can understand that you're not happy in your own body. I'm not happy in my body. I'm not. Okay, I understand what it's like. But you got to go all the nth degree. If you're going to be a woman, you need to cut the dick off. It's that simple, which I don't even want to think about. I don't even want to think about that. Okay, and... Uh, <sighs> like, again, you can do what you want to do, but you can't just sit there, I'm going to go halfway. Like, oh, yeah, well, I'm going to tug on it when I'm done. You know, I mean, come on. I got the titties, I got the dress on, I got the nylons on, and I'm going to tug it when I'm done. No. No, that's not how it works. That's not how that shit works. It's all nothing, motherfucker. I can't say I'm the President of the United States but never stepped foot in the White House. I mean, come on. And nobody wants to hear that. Nobody wants... All this passive-aggressive bullshit. You don't like it, we're going to ban what you say. Because you don't like what we said. You don't like what you said. Well, fuck you then. How about that? I'm not even going against these people. I'm not. I'm not going against them. I just say let them do what they want to do. But don't sit there and try to sugarcoat shit. Again, you want to be a woman, then you become a woman. I think it's kind of fucked up, but that's neither here nor there. Your woman wants to be a dude? Fine. 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 Now, I don't know how that works. I can understand, because what they do is they take, like, the penis, and they, like, like fold it up, and they, like, do origami and shit, and make, like, a vaginal portion, but I don't know how you do it as, like, a woman. I don't know if you take the clit and, like, sp like rip it out and, like, elongate it or some fucking thing, because... Like, some of these bitches, dude, you look at the porn, I'm telling you, some of these bitches have clits, they look like penises. It's like, you, what the fuck is this thing? It's like this thing dangling down, it's like, oh, Jesus, is there ovaries going to fall out next too? Make testicles and shit? It's like, whatever, man. And bitches with, like, elongated nipples, that, that just freaks me out, too. That's just, you know, <clears throat> they need to be, like, little pencil erasers, not... When the shit's like an inch long, like there's some women that are like inch long tits. It's like they're like, oh, dude, ew. I don't know, man. I get freaked out by stuff like that. Cause I mean, here's the thing: you want to be a woman, okay. But if you're freaking me out, then you're not a woman. You're like something that like hides in my closet and scares me at night. Okay, Caitlyn Jenner scares me. I can't look at Caitlyn Jenner in the face and be, hey, I, hey, I, I don't know why I started doing Graham right there, but, oh my God, it's like, no, I've seen some ugly women before. I've seen some ugly women, and it's okay to be an ugly woman. It is, I guess. It's okay. I mean, you're going to get nothing in life, but that's okay. You better learn to suck dick real fast because. <laughs> but there's a difference between an ugly woman and just a creepy, creepy, creepy creep, creep. Okay. And I'm sorry, you can try to be. You can put as many dresses as you want. You can't get past that creep factor. Okay. I'm sorry, it's just a simple fact. That might be hurtful to say. You'd be like, whoa, dr, dr. and again, I'm just throwing it out there. It's like. 
No, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's some women who look like they're transvestites. They're just like, nah, okay. And then, <laughs> no, yeah, I'm not saying they're bad people. Don't misunderstand me and misconstrue what I'm saying. It's just, like, I wouldn't look good in a dress. Yeah, the nylon might feel good on my legs, but it don't mean that don't mean I'm a woman. I should just be going into the women's bathroom. No, nah, I don't want to be in the men's bathroom. I don't want to. I like. I don't want to go into the men's bathroom and see a dude in a dress. I just. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm. I'm. I'm so narrow-minded. It's like the, like this was one stupid protester holding up a sign and said something to the effect of. You know, there's many genders, and I don't ad- I don't identify with the norms, so where do I pee? You know where you pee? You pee out in the fucking barn of the rest of the animals, you idiot. That's where the fuck you pee. You pee out in the fucking barn or out in the middle of the woods somewhere, like anybody else. I mean, honestly. It's simple. No. I mean, I mean, for example, I might dig nuclear fusion, but I'm not down there with lab coat on. Okay, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not where I'm not supposed to be. It is what it is. Because, I mean, think about it, though. No, I don't... This, now, if I haven't got controversial to this point, like, if you're transitioning, let's put it that way, let's say Caitlyn Jenner, for example, where you're kind of female-esque, even though you're still built like a dude, which is just weird. Oh, man, it's just weird. Now, how do you deal with, like, children and shit? Because it's like, if they... Because you're talking, there's a mental issue there. There's a legitimate mental issue. Well, they were born that way. Listen, I understand that. I was born in Spina Bifida. I know what it's like to be genetically fucked. I understand that. And I am not taking anything away from them being genetically fucked. If they are born like that, they are genetically fucked. It's not something that should be celebrated. It's not something that we should just be like, oh, no, no, no. I mean, listen, they can do what they want to do. And I'm just saying from my own personal experience, as somebody who was literally born and fucked, I don't celebrate spina bifida. I don't celebrate what makes me a, a freak. What makes me broken. I don't celebrate that shit. Like your daughter in a wheelchair. I don't think your daughter in a wheelchair will be celebrating. Now, she's a kid. you be like, oh my god, hey, party hats with kids in wheelchairs. Okay, you know, she gets older. I don't you know. She's 22. I don't think she's going to be celebrating, oh, I'm in a wheelchair. Or whatever, you know. I don't think she's going to be doing all that stuff. I think it's going to be a whole different ballgame by then. It's like, okay, yeah, you know, I'm a six-year-old kid and I'm, you know, people are celebrating that I'm, you know, rooting around in a wheelchair riding around and stuff, riding dirty. Yeah, okay, obviously the kid's going to buy into all that because the kid likes the celebration and likes to be, you know, put on the pedestal. Once you get older, it's like, okay, I'm still genetically fucked. I'm still physically fucked. What do I do now? You know, and by then, ain't nobody celebrating. Ain't nobody got the party hats on, the little little horns and toot toot. Okay, ain't nobody doing that shit. The kid's cute at six. 26, nobody gives a fuck. That's when they realize they get bitter and angry and they want to commit suicide. I'm just going to say that. It's a fact. Bender done... I almost said Bender done that, but... You get my point. But, again, I don't want to celebrate what makes me fucked up. If anything, I want to forget that it exists. Like, I'm serious. I don't think after a while your daughter's going to want to sit there and say, you know... Assuming she, I'm, I'm not saying she's gonna be in a wheelchair until she's like 26, but you get my point. It's like, I don't, I don't think realistically anybody wants to celebrate that. But yet, oh, you know, I'm transitioning into a woman. Let's celebrate. What? Why? What is there to celebrate? What, you're confused. You're literally confused, and we want to celebrate confusion. Okay, because if you're a man in a woman's body, or vice versa, then there's something wrong. Okay, and I have no problem with somebody trying to become what they feel they need to be. It's fucked up, you look weird, 
fine. You're creepy as fuck. But that's neither here nor there. I certainly wouldn't want to see you in the back alley going, nah. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't want to see that in the back. Would not want to meet Caitlyn Jenner in the back alley. It's all I'm gonna say. Just, especially dark. Just totally Jesus Christ. It's like Freddy Krueger coming to rape my fucking soul. It's like, are you kidding me with that shit? Nothing personal, but it's like you're creepy, dude. You're creepy. Okay. You're you're fucking creepy. That's all I'm gonna say on that. I'm sorry if this makes me a bad person, but. Like I said, I don't want to celebrate things that are, are are abnormal. Like, I got a crooked toe because of spina bifida. My, the, the equivalent of the ring finger on my toe is crooked. It's literally bent inward. I don't celebrate that. I'm like, oh, look at that. I don't celebrate it. Oh, look at that cute little bent in toe. Ha, ha, ha. No. I look at it and say, that thing was fucked up. I wish, wish I could literally break it and, like, you know, make it straight. Facts, fuck it, I'm going to take a picture of it. I'm going to take a picture of my broken toe. I'm going to show it to you. Hold on, let me get a better view of it. Of course, I don't know if you can actually see it. Because at the angle, it looks it almost looks normal. Let me look at it. <clears throat> It's a little ring finger at the toe. Now you can t you can definitely tell it's crooked. You definitely tell that fucker goes inward. Now I'm not gonna celebrate that shit. Ain't nothing to celebrate there. <clears throat> I don't know, man. And I don't want to be mean to people. I really don't. I'm not sitting there trying to be a little creep. Sure. No, other than the fact the creep factor, other than that, but. Anyways. Elf and Omega, baby.